Hi, I'm Sana from A Whole New High and in this video I will be sharing my first psilocybin experience. So my first experience was a couple of years ago and um, beforehand I also never used psilocybin recreationally so it was my first time really using it and I was at the shift retreat. So that's a retreat here from A Whole New High from Alice and Carrie and that is also how I met Alice and Carrie who you might have seen on the videos on our YouTube channel. And um, yeah, it was my uh, first retreat like that. So it was a completely new experience. And at the retreat, we had two psilocybin ceremonies and I will now be sharing my experience from the first ceremony. Um, and at the start, uh, Alice and Carrie guided us also more into the experience um, with a few meditations and they really properly prepared us from what the experience can be like and also created a very safe setting which for me personally really um, allowed me immediately to go very deeply into the experience um, beforehand I think that it's good to say that I had a lot of experience with therapy and working with the subconscious mind and also working with different methods that were really designed for integrating trauma and so when in the beginning um, more intense emotions came up I was able to be stay with it instead of trying to avoid or distract myself from it um, so my journey started off where I felt really um, I think probably after 30 minutes or up to an hour I really could fully feel the effects of this psilocybin which for me felt mainly it was really somatic and what I mean by that, that I really felt a strong difference in the sensations I was feeling in my body and also that my senses were really heightened and it kind of felt like I was really guided into this experience by this very strong presence um, which also can okay, call the spirit of psilocybin and um, she's also called soma and i felt like this presence was guiding me deeper into the experience and was guiding me along the way and it kind of started off as this dialogue and i was asking it certain questions about life and about things I was struggling with and uh, some of it also related to my intention so my intention that I set before going into the experience was that I wanted to experience more meaningful connections in my life and that I wanted to become aware of what was blocking me from experiencing that so that was one of the things that really was strongly my experience was also about so it was really influenced by my intention and I became aware of um, a very strong what we could call like a split within my psyche that was caused by childhood traumas and in the beginning I just became aware of this split which kind of um, created for me this overly dependent uh, independent attitude in life um, and also that was the reason why I was always really kind of more wise or aware for my age even if I was a young age and I was always able to do things really myself so I really created that belief and that structure is that I don't need anyone and that actually that was coming from a trauma where especially when I was young a lot of my physical needs weren't met so my physical and emotional needs were kind of neglected so to speak so yeah so that is really kind of how that um, beginning of my experience started off it was really this dialogue and then during that dialogue um, Either I became aware of it through experiencing and feeling emotion, which was kind of like I just said, the strongest aspect. So the strongest aspect of the psilocybin experience was definitely the emotional component and the sensations that I felt in my body. Uh, but I also saw different visuals and these visuals would kind of change. It was kind of that I was on this journey and then I was 
going into this topic and this question in this area of my life and I would see certain memories or certain kind of become aware of certain fragments and um, it kind of felt like uh, so I was using different memories and different things that were already in my subconscious mind and it was kind of bringing it to the surface so I was able to see it and witness it from a different perspective from a very observative perspective that I wasn't really able to have in my day-to-day -day life in such a way and still I'm someone that reflects a lot and that also has things um, coming up to the surface and that we have these moments of awareness right when we can uh, connect the dots afterwards and that things start to make more sense um, and I felt that during my psilocybin experience because I was so focused into it that everything was amplified so that those new awarenesses those insights were happening a lot quicker and a lot more intensely and a lot faster so it felt like I was constantly making all these connections and that things start to make more sense. And then kind of, I think this is probably in the middle of my journey, I had this moment of stuckness. And I even had this moment where, because for the majority of my time, I was wearing this uh, eye mask and laying down because to be really internally focused in the experience, to really have that inward experience. But then there was a moment where I kind of would sit up and I felt like the effects and the cessations were becoming a little less. And I was like, okay, maybe I'm now coming off it and it's getting more gentle. And I had my emotional release. I've experienced these things and I'll probably be done. So I just sat up and I kind of remember looking around. And then I think, yeah, it was Carrie who came over, who was... Uh, also guiding the experience and holding the space for the ceremony and she was sitting next to me and we had a conversation and then she attuned to me and felt that there was still this very big this vast sadness and that feeling of loneliness there and she really helped me to tap into that and to open that so in the moment it kind of felt a little bit like I was opening up Pandora's dog box because there was so much sadness there so and I was able to go completely into it and from that moment on it's actually when my experience became a little bit more for full circle so to speak is that it really started to make a lot more sense because then I really went into um, a vulnerable aspect or a vulnerable part of self um, you can also call it maybe an inner child of me that was still really hurt and feeling really alone it felt extremely young and it felt really unsupported and for the first time I could experience that also through that guidance of being held kind of being held in that sadness and being held in that aloneness and then that I could finally allow myself to feel that completely and be supported in that experience so I didn't literally have to go through it alone anymore and that for me it was a very empowering moment where I actually could just let go I did because I think that's the thing that comes with independence like we have to hold on we have to do it all it's kind of like that mentality and what I then experience is that opposite experience so often when we ask like what is healing right what is so healing about the psilocybin experience is that we can experience the opposite of what we're used to so if we for example my experience was right, feeling really lonely and unsupported I could now in within that experience I could feel what it's like to be supported and connected and for someone to attune to my needs and it had an extremely healing um, effect for me personally that also continued far after that experience itself and then also completely towards more towards the end of my journey I continued to cry and cry and cry and cry it was actually it was a very intense experience um, but I feel like that um, I could allow myself to have that deep experience and that was extremely healing so I finally could allow myself to go 
into those deep depths um, that I feel like I wasn't able to access before in my own healing journey um, and also in the experiences that I had with therapy and that yeah that it was very powerful that because also I think it's also because of the length of the journey for me I think it was around five hours so I was able to go very deep into this very deep emotional layer that kind of felt like this vast ocean and also at some point of my journey I could even I even felt like I was kind of that that, that visual came to me like I was like Alice in Wonderland who was swimming in an ocean of her own tears and also when I came out of the experience my eyes were like super puffy because I cried but it didn't feel kind of crying in a feeling of I'm powerless I don't know what to do and I'm kind of suffering crying but for me it felt really more like a really big emotional release so like all these emotions and all these things were kind of like bottled up inside of me and that in that experience I was able to open that up completely and to release that and to let that go and later when I reflected back and to also into my intention that it was my intention to experience more meaningful connection in my life and that in order to do that I had to go into the sadness and into the loneliness that was still there and wanted to be expressed and released and that those parts of me that were vulnerable who that first in order for me to experience that that they that those parts of myself like that inner child needed to feel supported it needed to feel loved and after experiencing that I was able to experience it more into my day-to-day -day life and of course um, also the integration process is also essential um, and I go into that more in another video of how to integrate your psychedelic experience. But what I also really wanted to share, what was really magical for me is that aside from like the more inner child experiences, I also experienced a lot of depth and a lot of beauty. And I had also had these more archetypal visuals and experience coming up in my journey. Um, what constantly was coming up specifically in that in my first psilocybin journey was this constant spiral so it felt like I was constantly in a spiral and the visual always continued to come up and more towards the end of my experience um, when I actually was being held uh, by Carrie and also later by Alice as well is that it felt like there was like this golden eagle that flew over and kind of flew around me in a spiral and it kind of was wrapping me up with its warmth with its love and it felt for me like um, the golden eagle was kind of it's kind of like the psilocybin mushrooms that were able to transform in different forms and different visuals and different archetypes and a different experience depending on what we need at that time specifically and for me it was really shown that it was kind of the energy of a protective mother eagle you know so it's very protective it's it's very strong but at the same time it has this softness and it this warmth and that I needed to, in order to heal, I needed to experience that energy. And it felt like I was, for a very long time, and that was really the end of my experience, that I was just held. Like I was this golden egg. And I was just held by an ego and I was like protected, uh, taken care of and uh, provided in my needs. And I was being held in the kind of like the warmth of like this golden unconditional love and it was very interesting because um the psilocybin strain that um i've eaten uh in this experience is also called the golden teacher so it was felt really like that um, mushroom wanted to reveal itself to me which was an extremely powerful and beautiful experience and um, it can be difficult to kind of in a storytelling way like this to kind of 
um, go into all parts of the experience and to fully explain it because sometimes and some of you may know it we already had experiences but it can be really difficult to explain completely how it all went and I think we're not really able to do that but that we can express parts of it so that's what I wanted to do in this video to express different parts of my first psilocybin experience so it can give you some idea of what it can be like and what I've also noticed from having more and more experience over the last couple of years that every experience is completely unique and even with psilocybin even with the when I use the same substance there's no experience that is the same and it really depends on what we need at a time um, also our intention like I explained beforehand and on so many different things and also about who we are at that point in time and for me it felt like I was really ready for the experience and that through all the emotional inner work that I did over the years I was able to go that deep um, so yeah it was an amazing experience and I'm really grateful for it uh, even till this day and I can really say it has really changed my life and it also introduced me uh, to psilocybin which um, is still a very important part of my life and can still support me in my healing until this day so uh, I'm still very grateful um, for that day where I had my first psilocybin ceremony yeah so that was really what I wanted to share for today and I really want to Thank you so much uh, for watching this video and know that if you're interested about uh, having your own psilocybin ceremony and maybe even having your own first experience or maybe if there's some private experiences you can also go to a whole new high.com and maybe also go to one of our retreats or have a private ceremony if you're interested in that and yeah if you want to see more videos like this um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button and yeah then you'll be seeing more videos from us um, and it would be great um, yeah and also if you have any questions or you maybe you want to share something about the experience that you've had with psilocybin feel free to put it in the comments down below and uh, we would love to read them so again, thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you a wonderful day.